Hello, doers. Jose Ignacio here with another tutorial. Now, with Odoo, you can quickly and efficiently import and export information in your database. Now, records in your Odoo database hold a vast amount of data ranging from basic contact information to more complex information, such as accounting information or inventory info. We'll learn how you can import and export data in Odoo to bulk edit data. Now this is available throughout many Odoo applications and Odoo makes it easy with sample import templates and many different export options. Now, enough chit chat as I always say. Let's see how all of this works in Odoo. All right, Odooers, here we are on the main dashboard. Now let's start in the contacts app where we could see all of our contacts in one place. Now I like this view, but I also like options. So we're gonna select list up here and you'll notice we got new options as well. Now, I want to do something with some of these contacts. Now, let's say I would like to archive some of them, export their information, or delete multiple contacts. Now, I can do so by selecting the boxes that we have over here next to a contact's name. So, if we select a couple, all right, that looks pretty good. Then, I'm going to go up here to the action button, which when I click on it, I can choose from different actions. Now, in this case, I would like to export the information. So, I'm going to click on export. Once that I do that, I get prompted to some new options. Now, export is a great option when you would like to put information from your contact info onto an Excel or a CSV sheet. Now, you'll notice that you have the option to save a template for export as well, and that's a pretty good option. And you can even change the file type up here between XLSX and CSV. In our case, we're going to select CSV. Now, the other thing that I want to do, by the way, is I want to update data. So I'm going to select that and it'll show us import compatible things. Now Odoo has this cool feature that allows files to be import compatible. And as long as you select this box, Odoo can check to make sure that they are import compatible. Now you can also use an Odoo import template to ensure that the file is import compatible. And that's another way to do it. Now this is really important if you would like to import info back into Odoo. Now on the left of the export screen are the available fields Odoo can export. Now, in our case, we can do stuff like accounts payable. Let's go down this list. We could export company IDs and everything. Now, the right-hand side ends up showing us the options that have already been selected to export. So it's good to see it on both sides. Now, by default, when exporting in the various Odoo applications, suggested fields to export are automatically populated, as you can see over here. Now, let's select, in our case, we want something very cool. We're going to select street name. Sorry, we want to hit the plus. My apologies, you have to click the plus. We're always learning doctors here. Now, once that we're done selecting something like that, we actually just hit the little export button down over here. And just like that, almost instantaneously, we get everything downloaded. Now, after you click export, the file will automatically download directly to your computer. And because I checked the box that said import compatible, the export file will be formatted in the correct way so that when you import it back into Odoo, you won't have any problems. Up, uh, everything looks good now, so let's just close this out. Now, when I open the file, you'll see the newly created column on the right side that shows you street name as well if you were following this along. It's really that simple. Now, back over here on the contacts, we're gonna do a few different things. Now, let's assume the import, you simply can also just click on favorites. And you'll notice import records is right there. When we select it, it takes us to a new page. From here, you can import contacts, which is super convenient, especially if you're a new business or you have a lot of clients and the information is stored on a spreadsheet. This makes life so much easier. And what do we always do here at Odoo? We like making things simple. Now, you're able to use that export file that I just exported as a template or you can use the template provided in the import window as well using that import link as well. Now, say you have a template. You actually could just use the import template for customers as well that you see over here. Now, if you have a different type of file, you will still have to use the same method of selecting upload file that we see up here in the top left. In our case, we're actually going to upload something right now just so you can see what that looks like. In our case, we're going to drop this in just because we like showing and practicing what we teach. And there you have it. Now, you will be given the options to import, 
test the import, load a new file, or cancel. And these are the options that allow you to pretty much do very powerful features with this. Now, let's say if you didn't use a template, or if you don't already have a Odoo specific template, Odoo will suggest the closest Odoo fields that match the unique ones in your spreadsheet file. If the fields are not compatible, Odoo will ask you to select the field to import the data from. Now here, we see the first field is for display name. And that needs something actually Odoo specific as well. Now I'm gonna go ahead and select in here. And we're gonna type in name, because it's pretty similar. And just like that, it's now compatible. Now you'll also notice that there is an option to use the first row as a header. And that's a very, very powerful feature because that ends up allowing you to select this option if for say your file has the field names in a row at the top of your spreadsheet and you would like to differentiate from the other uh, information that you have here. So let's test the import next because that's what we do here. And what happens? Everything seems valid. Odoo does checks and balances as I always say. Now, once that everything looks good, click import when you're ready to import the data directly into your Odoo database. As you know, however, this was just a quick test, so we're not going to click on that. Now, when importing large amounts of data, it can help to break the data down into smaller import files to complete the import successfully. And this is useful in the event that you have internet issues or the files are just massive. Now, I actually think we should test this, so doers, let's test it. And what do you know? Almost instantly, 76 files were uploaded. And isn't that beautiful? Now, that's all for this tutorial. We learned how to export and import data into Odoo. The import and export feature is a common feature throughout Odoo applications and can be used to update data for many different records. Remember to use those sample templates and to export Odoo compatible data. Until next time, Odooers, thank you for watching and be sure to check out my other videos. Have a great night.